Konnichiwa, Japan fans. Today's show, we're going to talk about sales and audio. Za Egyo desu. Sore dewa igimashou. So let's get going. This is the fifth year of the Sales Japan series podcast broadcasting around the world from the Beverly Hills of Japan, Minato-ku, here in downtown Tokyo. It is chic central. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, committed to your success, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Tokyo, Japan, and the three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, Japan Presentations Mastery, and now my new book in Japanese, Za Eigyo, is available on Amazon. In this podcast, I want to help you to survive COVID-19. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesdays, the Presentation Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Sundays, Japan's top business interviews. Now, this is episode number 282. Today, we're talking about the big sales audio land grab. Greg, you are everywhere. I'm often told this by business people here in Tokyo. What they mean is that I am prolific on social media, video, and audio. Well, if you are in sales today and you are not prolific in promoting yourself, then what are you doing with your time? It is an old saw in sales that it doesn't matter how many people you know, it is more important how many people want to know you. Fine, but how do you get that to work? After all, there are only so many people we can meet in a month, and naturally we want all of them to want to know us. The democratization of social media and the free nature of the medium has changed many things, and getting our reputation in front of many more people than we could ever physically meet in a month. I was always wary of social media. I didn't trust the platforms, so I avoided them until December 2011. That year, I made my first visit to San Diego in California to attend the Dale Carnegie National Convention. One of the speakers was Jeffrey Gittermore, published author and sales training guru. He was quite a character. He was wearing a bright red shirt that from memory had his name, Jeffrey, and sales department embroidered on it. He was dressed like some guy who would be working at a gas stand pumping petrol. Dale Cunning is a pretty conservative organization, so he'd been told, tone down the profanity. But what he said was shocking to me. He asked the 1,000 plus attendees, how many Twitter followers do you have? At that point, he had over 30,000, and I had none. On the plane back to Tokyo, I was thinking about what he said, so I made my first skeptical foray into the social media platforms. I found Twitter didn't suit me as much as Facebook and LinkedIn, so I tended to concentrate there. I don't post any personal stuff on these platforms. It is all business and I make sure none of it is controversial or embarrassing. Around 2012, 2012, I started publishing blogs on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook, and I'm still doing that. 
I was also publishing articles in the American Chamber Journal and the Ackerman Magazine every month. The American Chamber Journal editor, Roberto DeVito, suggested to me that I should do a podcast. I asked him, what is a podcast? I can't remember how, but I discovered this other American guy, Gary Vaynerchuk, properly known as Gary V, another character, and this time plenty of profanity from Gary. It was interesting because he was combining reality, TV, education and motivation together and was pumping out massive amounts of content. He taught me to multi-purpose my content. I could use the content from my blogs for the magazines to become the content for my podcast. The first blog was published as a podcast called the Japan Leadership Series on August the 2nd, 2014 on the topic, Flexible Japan, Stop Dreaming. I was covering leadership sales and presentations content in that one podcast. I started hearing that going deep into niches was important, so I created two more podcasts called the Presentations Japan Series and the Sales Japan Series and started publishing podcasts on those specialities from November 2016. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom, we do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. Today's show is being brought to you by, on the 25th of March, we'll be doing negotiations, bargaining and agreement. 19th of April, we'll be doing our course previews. 21st, 22nd of April, we're doing high impact presentations. 23rd of April, we're doing our professional ongoing education series for alumni. 13th of May, we'll be doing more course previews. Check out our website, www.dale.carnegie.co.jp. Get my best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery, that's the Bible for selling in Japan, and Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery. And they're all available on Amazon. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 1,000 there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Television Show. And don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com Welcome back. In mid-2018, I read that Google would start using audio for search in addition to text. In the text world, I was competing with millions, maybe billions of blogs. The audio podcast world was a bit less competitive. I already had three podcasts by that time, but I decided to strip out the audio from two of my YouTube TV shows, The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show and The Japan Business Mastery Show, and create podcasts. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show first episode was on Not Meeting the Leadership Challenge is Quietly Killing Us on August 18, 2019. Japan Business Mastery Show came out on October the 4th, 2019 on five deadly and dastardly leader misperceptions. The next year, I launched a new show called Japan's Top Business Interviews, where I interview CEOs. We talk about one topic, leading in Japan. The first episode was on the 6th of June, 2020, with Yasuhaki Mori, then CEO of Infineon Technologies Japan. What has been the upshot? of all this effort and time. 
My personal branding has skyrocketed, and I have a core of true fans who regularly follow the content. Because I'm posting fresh and different content Monday to Saturday on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, I get people contacting me about training in Japan. I don't do any paid promotion and just rely on organic search to find me. Yes, I get a lot of people trying to sell me sex, dodgy investments, various products and services too, but I just ignore those. For those who are genuinely interested in business in Japan, they can judge the quality of offer by accessing my aura. They can try before they buy. So, are you having a Jeffrey Gittermore moment like I had in 2011? By the way, Jeffrey has 67,000 followers on LinkedIn, and I have 26,000. So, I'm only 40% as good as he is, but for my niche, how many people have more than I do? How many people are accessing audio search on Google as well as I am? I have no idea. But what I do know is, if you're in sales, your biggest problem is getting found. The text blog world is competitive, and that means you're competing with 7 million blogs a day. Podcasts are said to be over 2 million in number. I publish my podcast using Libsyn, and their numbers show that the biggest group of podcasts are published on Apple Podcasts, and that Japan-originated podcasts are only about 1% of their total. If you broke that down to English language podcasts, the numbers could get very interesting. My point is, I'm punching way above my weight here, and it is working. If you're in sales, what are you doing about being found? Thank you for joining the Sales Japan series. If you found the program useful, please work on your karma and share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast immediately. Apply what you've learned today. Use it and go out there and survive. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.